Hello my friends, what's up and welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I have been here on YouTube, at least a couple of weeks. And so I'm back and I've got a couple of exciting videos coming up, today's included. We're gonna talk about the new Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes palette. And so we've got some swatches. Of course, you know the drill if you're a regular on my channel. My skin tone, my husband's skin tone, so that if you are of a deeper skin tone, you know if this palette will work for you. We're gonna talk about how it worked for me put it on my eyes. You know the drill. All of the normal everyday standard things on my channel for a review. So if you are interested in seeing how this palette worked for me and if it might work for you too, then just keep on watching. Alrighty, my friends. So let's, before we jump into the nitty gritty of this palette, a couple of things. I have been off of YouTube for a little bit. We went on vacation and listen, I ended up sick. So here we are and it has been a recovery process. It was a head cold that turned into a sinus infection. And if you suffer from sinus infections, you know the difficulty that it is to get better from them. So um, here we are. My voice is not at its best. It's better than it was. I don't sound like Batman anymore. So um, my apologies if the voice is, you know, uh, not as, <laughs> I don't know if it's just, uh, it's different. So here we are. But let's go ahead and jump into this palette. So the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes palette. This is a very anticipated palette once he dropped the information about it. And I'm just going to say there are a few brands for which I know, like, I want to pick up new releases. That Typically, it's very rare that I don't like something from the brand. Makeup by Mario is one of them. Everything I've picked up, I've really enjoyed, loved, in fact. And so this was one that I knew I wanted to pick up. In addition to that, I never picked up up his all matte palette, that neutral all matte palette, which I know I'm not a neutral all matte type of girl, but it's one that really was on my list. I drug my feet, never picked it up, and it's been out of stock for forever. And typically that means they're like either just repackaging or maybe it's just totally out of stock that it takes a very long time to reproduce. So anyways, so when I saw that this one was coming out, I was like, um, yes, because I was not able to get that one. This would be a good substitute for me. So it is a $68 palette with 12 eyeshadow shades. His box is standard packaging for him. Just so that you are aware, it is made, manufactured in the USA, assembled in Dominican Republic, 12-month shelf life, which seems a little on the low side compared to a lot of the other palettes that have recently been coming out. I think Natasha Denona even does like 24-month shelf life. But anyways, I also love that he says for Mario's exclusive techniques and tips, visit makeupbymario.com because he does have certain techniques for using this palette. And so sometimes it's easy to forget, well, you know, what's the best way to use this? So anyways, that's what we've got. It is $68, which is a hefty price tag. Now here we've got the palette itself. It's a little heftier than the, I have the Metallics palette and I want to say that one's lighter and a little bit um, maybe plastic. This feels a little bit like aluminum or something like along those lines, maybe metal. Um, and so it's a little bit heftier. Honestly, for me, I don't mind taking the plastic packaging and taking a little bit of a price decrease, but it is what it is. So definitely his standard packaging with the white. On the back, you have the layout and the names. There are really no names to these. They are referred to by EE1, EE2, which is Ethereal Eyes. So one, two, three, four, five, and so on and so forth. So that's what we've got going on there. They're not also listed on the palette itself. It's literally on the back. So then the full cover is a mirror, which is really, really nice. So here is the palette. When I saw the very first promo picture for this, I was like, those mattes look so soft, so buttery. You know which, you know what I'm talking about. When certain uh, mattes are just so silky to the touch that you just kind of, you know, I mean, you just gravitate towards them. And they looked like that. And I'm here to tell you that they are. But they are a, now granted, I'm going off of memory from reading about this palette. So forgive me, it's not going to be full on exact, but I'm going to try to remember. So they do have a, so there's three finishes in this palette. There's a like buttery smooth matte, which I think that's roughly what they're called. There are three that are glossy. They're glossy shimmers, I think is what they're called. Supposed to be a one of a kind formula never done before. I don't know about that. We'll talk about it. And then there's two what he calls um, 
smooth metallics, I think is what it's called. Again, I may, there may be a little difference there because I'm going off of memory. Um, and that is these two right here. So you've got the little glossies and then you've got the little metallics and the rest are mattes. Beautiful mix of mainly warm, but you also have a little bit of cool tone in here as well, which I have come to fully appreciate cool tone shades, I have to tell you. So the demo that we're gonna do today, so first I'm gonna bring you swatches, but the demo we're gonna do today is different from what I've got on my eyes today. I played with this for a couple of days just to kind of get an understanding of it to see how, you know, it was working for me. So when we get to the demo, you're going to see it's different than what I've got going on today. So, all right, let me grab first row of swatches so that I can show those to you real quick and then, uh, and then we'll move from there. Here we've got first row. Very, very beautiful. And here's what's funny. These type of cream shades usually on me just really don't show up. And I have to say that this one was very surprising to me. You can tell by the swatch that it does look very creamy. And that's how it goes on my eyelids. I was not expecting it when I put it on this morning as a base. I was like, okay, I'm just going to use it as like to set my, you know, primer. And it was actually like an actual shade. So anyways, so that's that on my skin tone and on my husband's skin tone. Let me grab the second row for you. Row number two, my friends, here we go. Look how smooth those mattes just uh, apply. It's almost like an airbrush type of look, which I don't get from many palettes, but there are a handful that I have in my collection for which the mattes just almost create this airbrush look, this airbrush effect, just so smooth. And this is one of them. The mattes really do live up to what he says they do. So here is row number two. There's that Smooth metallic, I think it's called. And then right here is another one of those glossy shimmers, I think. <laughs> so let me grab row number three and uh, we'll go through that together. Last row. Here we go. Oh my goodness. So again, oh my gosh. So again, smooth or yeah, smooth shimmer. Again, I, anyways. And then, um, no, glossy shimmer, smooth metallic. This one's very stunning, very, very beautiful, very metallic, very pack a punch. But again, look at the just smooth uh, application of those. Just so, so pretty. And swatches don't always tell the full story, but I'm here to tell you, I'm here to give you the spoiler alert that on the lids, they look exactly like they do in a swatch. So that being said, let's go into the demo. Again, very different look from what we've got today. We're gonna do a halo eye in the demo, um, minus the liner and lashes. Um, and then, so just so that you can see, this is like a super simple look, but in essence, I did one of the, so, okay, hold on. Let me show you what I did today. So right here, this shade right here is in my crease. Very, um, so which one did I, okay. <laughs> this one right here on the outer portion of the lid, just to add a little bit of depth, which just so, so pretty. It's very soft, romantic. And then all over the lid, is this gold glossy shimmer, glossy, yeah, glossy shimmer right there. So super simple, like nothing complicated. Maybe it doesn't even look complicated, but it looks just elegant. So that's what I've got going on for today. I'm um, going to do something a little bit different in the demo. Let's go there and then we'll be back and talk about this palette. Alrighty, my friends, so starting off with a blending brush and going in with shade number seven, tapping off the excess and just going into my crease. These mattes, honestly, I know I'm just giving it all the way right off the bat, but they just blend so nicely. They give your eye a very airbrushed look, and it's not a whole lot of mattes that can do that. These buttery mattes do live up to the hype. So just adding a couple of layers of that for the intensity that I wanted as far as a shade of pink, and I loved it. <laughs> All right, now going in with shade number four, also tapping off the excess and just gonna add a little bit of depth um, to this on the outer portion of the lid. Notice I didn't go in with the deepest shade, kind of went in with the next to deepest matte um, and it just, oh my goodness, again, lays down so nicely, blends out so well and it really takes minimal effort, which is, again, I love that about a matte. So. Just kind of blending that in. I did add another layer just to kind of deepen it up a little bit. Just kind of trying to smoosh it into the crease area back there. <laughs> just to get it all looking blended and seamless. 
All right, so I'm gonna go in with a smaller blending brush. This is a little bit more detailed. And just with that exact same shade, just trying to concentrate some of that pigment um, onto that certain part of the outer lid, just to, again, add a little bit more depth. And then also taking it into the inner portion of the lid, just trying to go for a halo eye here. And uh, obviously a smaller blending brush doesn't get everything all over the place. And so that's why I went in with this smaller brush. Uh, but again, just uh, trying to go for a halo eye. So going in with my Fenty Pro Filter Eye Primer, this, as you know, is what I use as my tacky base anytime I'm going to use any kind of metallic or shimmer or any kind of standout shade. So just placing this on the middle portion of the lid um, <clears throat> where I plan to just kind of lay down that standout shade. All right, so going to go in with the shade, I think it's 6. And this is one of those glossy shimmers, kind of the, what he calls the most innovative type of formula. Now, these are kind of a step above, um, we're going to talk about this, but these are a step above like your chroma crystal type toppers from um, Natasha Denona in that they aren't as, uh, they're a little bit more opaque, but they are not all the way there. So I feel like this kind of straddles the line of um, using on its own and needing to put it over something, but it did work on its own, which was, you know, I was pretty happy about because you guys know I'm not huge on toppers. Okay, so not my best demo because again, I didn't finish it out with liner and lashes. And to be honest, I fully intended to full film the video yesterday when I did that demo, but time got away from me and I thought, you know what, this is actually kind of perfect because it gives me two days to really try it out and see how I like other shades that I haven't used yet. So let's go ahead and talk about the palette because $68 honestly is a lot and I was kind of, I was surprised to see that price tag. And so I was thankful that I was able to use my 20% to be able to bring that down a little bit because $68, you're getting into the Natasha Denona midi palette price point. And so that's luxury to be honest. <laughs> so here we go. I got to first say, so the packaging is super simple. I mean, I could take it or leave it, but honestly, like this is what he's, this is his packaging. And I know that that's no surprise to me. So again, I already told you I could have done with plastic packaging and a lesser price point and been fine with it. But anyways, so here, that's what he decided to go with. Okay. So it's my understanding. Now, the buttery, soft mattes are everything and more. They do go on so smooth. I already told you, they look airbrushed. They build so, so nicely. And in fact, they pack more of a, um, not a punch, but they, they, they are more than what you see in the pan. And case in point, this one right here, I was like super surprised when I started putting that on my lid and, with a blending brush. And I was like, Oh, I actually could have used this as an all over lid shade, not necessarily just a shade to set my primer. Anyways, beautiful. These mattes are everything I had hoped they would be. And for me, the mattes in and of themselves make up for the fact that I wasn't able to get my hands on his full matte palette. So, and I love that there's the mix of, there's a little bit of pink, there's definitely warm tones, there's, you know, couple of cool tones. So for me, I love the mix. It's just very romantic, very soft, but you can build it up to be smoky and deep and just very sultry and romantic. So I love that. Now let's talk about the two metallic, what did I call those smooth metallic shades? They are just very, very lovely. They do pack a punch. I love this one. This one for me, you guys, if you've been with my channel for a long time, you know, this is my type of pack a punch. I love sparkly, intense, metallic, very liquid metal. This one truly is what I would consider like a, almost like a satin. It's a little bit more than that, but those are the types of shades and finishes I don't use as often. It's still very, very pretty though. And I know there are quite a few ladies who love that type of uh, shade. So there we go with that, but beautiful still. And I love that there's a variety. There's like three different types of formulas here. Now the glossy shimmer, again, he's saying that he, this is a one of a kind first ever done type of formula. Now I will tell you to the touch, they are probably the softest type of shimmer I have ever felt. Honestly, I did not anticipate them being so soft. If you're familiar with the Patrick Ta palette, you know those to be just a little bit grainy. They're beautiful. I love those so much. 
but they do have a little bit of a grainy feel to them. These are not like that in the sense of you touch them and they feel like silk. So um, that's definitely there <clears throat> as far as a beautiful feel. Now, I know he says one of a kind finish and they are beautiful, but you guys know how I feel about the, what is it? It's the Natasha Denona toppers and I forget what they're called. I don't remember if they're the Chroma Crystals, but there is a topper that Natasha Denona has that I'm not a fan of because they're very thin and they go on very, I don't know if translucent's the word, but if you don't have anything underneath, it's just kind of like just a wash, which a lot of people do really like. It's just not my cup of tea. Now, I do feel like these are kind of a step above that, but not fully opaque to where it's like, okay, these can kind of stand on their own. They do provide a very romantic, very, I've told you about like classy glitter and it's probably, even in my mind, it's like, okay, what? What would classify glitter as classy? But I don't know. It's not that chunky. You know, I, I feel like if I were going to go to a night event, a ball, a just a, you know, something like that, a gala, like that's what I, this is what I would consider to be, that's what I would use because it's classy <laughs> and it adds a twinkle and it adds a sparkle, but it's not like punching you in the face kind of thing. It's very romantic. I don't know how else to tell you that. It is just very simple, very stunning, but very romantic. But it does have a little bit of that topper feel that I'm not a huge fan of. But honestly, it is a step above enough to where I'm like, all right, I could get behind this and I could see myself using these as all over lid shades for an easy one and done, but still a little twinkle kind of thing. Now, the other thing that comes to my mind are the Patrick Ta um, shades. I do feel like, so uh, Natasha Denona, straight up topper, I'm not a fan. This is a step above that and I'm like, okay, I could get behind this. The Patrick Ta formula for these types of like sparkly shades, um, I feel like those are even a step above this in the aspect of like packing a punch and I can use those on their own. I don't have to layer any kind of shade underneath to really get them to pop. And so they are a different formula, obviously. Again, I told you those feel a little bit grainier, but they do pack more of a punch. So it's almost like different tiers of the shimmer type of <laughs> shades that these are or form not even formulas, but I don't know, types of shadow. You know what I'm trying to say. So all in all, though, this is a beautiful palette. I think what you're going to have to decide, though, is if $68 is worth the price tag for you. Um, can you get something else? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> but you know, if you are a makeup lover like myself and you do love trying those different formulas, then you're going to want to try this. And for me, it's again, rare that makeup by Mario disappoints. And I'm here to say that this did not disappoint. So I'm very happy that I picked it up. It will get quite a bit of use out of me. Now, granted, we're getting into the holidays and this for me doesn't scream holiday. So it's probably going to take a back seat for a little while because I'm ready to bring out those, you know, Christmas shades like the, and the Huda Empowered palette and just all of my Christmassy pack a punch red and green and gold. And anyways, those are really what I'm bringing out at this time. So this probably going to wait a little bit to be used until the new year. But listen, if you are an every day, even want a step above to add a little bit of something, something to your eyes, then this is definitely for you. If you love those buttery soft mattes and you've got that different array of shades, which is actually really cool, then that's for you too. So I, I, I really, I mean, I'm here to say I love this palette. Now, one last thing that comes to my mind, and this is, I don't believe in any way, shape or form, the palette. I think this is a change in my skin type or my eyelids, but it used to be up until somewhat recently that I, certain eyeshadow primers just was, it would lock and load my eyeshadow and so <clears throat> here lately, though, um, <laughs> I don't know, by the end of the day, my eyeshadow looks a hot mess, like it's faded off, I've got creasing, and I this ha that has happened with this palette. But again, I think that's not anything related to this palette because I've had that happen with other palettes here in the last few months as well. It is just either like my eyelids have become a little bit oilier than they used to be. Maybe I just need to pick up that NARS primer that's more for dry, for oily lids. Um, but on me, the palette does 
fade down and crease by the end of the day. But again, that's not something on the palette. That's just something I'm gonna have to figure out for myself. Okie dokie, my friends. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for watching this video. I don't know which one I'm going to put up first, this one or my Sephora haul for the sale. It will likely be this one. Anyways, but if this is the first one, no Sephora haul is coming your way also within the next few days. So before I let you go, you know what time it is. If you are new to my channel, I do like to give a verse of the day. To me, it's the most important part of this video is to give you a Bible verse of the day that encourages you and motivates you and more than anything tells you that that Jesus loves you, especially in a very chaotic and crazy world. There has to be something that you can count on as true and as something that won't let you down. And Jesus is someone who will never let you down. Today's verse comes from <clears throat> 2 Samuel twenty two thirty one. I think I've even read this one before. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is flawless. He is a shield for all who take refuge in him. So my question to you is, are you taking refuge in him? If you feel alone, if you feel um, like everything is crumbling around you, what I don't know what stage of life you're in, what chapter you're going through right now, but I am here to tell you that Jesus is the one who will never fail you. I don't even trust, you know, humans, um, we let each other down. Your husband, your wife, your parents, they will let you down. No matter how much you put faith in them, they will let you down. We're human. We make those mistakes. But Jesus is one who will never let you down, who will never leave your side. And it is my prayer that if you don't already know him as your Lord and Savior, that you would call on him and that you would just start today with that. It's not even about religion. And I think there's this misconception that I'm not about religion. The thing about it is when it comes to Jesus, it is not religion. It's a relationship and it's a most incredible relationship. More than any awesome makeup find <laughs> is, is Jesus. He's just the best thing. And it is my prayer that if you don't already know him as your Lord and Savior, that he would make himself very real to you. Alrighty, my friends, with that, I let you go. We'll conclude this video, but I'm going to see you very, very soon. Thanks again for stopping by. Love and, I love each and every one of you. Take care.